wanted to give you an in-depth analysis, guys, of a three-star attack and what that looks like. So this is me, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. I'm attacking for the three-star. Of course, it's not max Town Hall 10, but still, uh, you got a plan. I took a lot of strategy trying to figure out where to come in. I spent probably about 30 minutes trying to figure out how to best take down this base. I mean, it's still hard. If you don't funnel correctly with Valkyries, you're not going to get the three-star. So what, where was I going to come in with the Queen Walk? How do you decide these things? Well, I chose to come in from the south. The reason that I chose, one, the air defense was able to get to from the queen. Also, there was less defensive structures on that south side. Over there, if I came on this side, obviously you want to hit the multi first, but see, look at all those storages I would have to get through with the queen. Too much time would have been taken at the early on stages of the raid, and it would have just failed, and I think it would have been slowed me down too much. Of course, what is this baby dragon doing here? Well, I wanted to make sure the queen funneled west uh, up towards that air defense. And so I was going to drop her in the south there and then the f baby dragon right on that elixir pump right there um, on the corner of it. That way it would take it out and then she would p path up here. And then my golem will drop at the cannon and that archer tower and then with my wizard. So I did actually think about bringing four Valkyries instead of the golem because the Valkyries could have taken down those units just as quick as the golem and wizards. But I was hoping, well, the golem will go in toward the core, hopefully, and distract some of the defensive units. That was my thought process with it. Uh, of course, I'm gonna uh, not. I'm gonna put the jump spell over that town hall to get to the second inferno tower and save my free spell for the multi and uh, just take out the uh, you know the first couple walls with the Valkyries and a rage. Uh, I was actually hoping to br you not use my queen's ability. I mean, queen uh, a rage on the queen early on and use to rage for my Valkyries. Uh, so that meant I was going to use her ability and planned on using her ability because I knew with when she encountered that archer tower in the uh, expo, I was like, I'm going to have to use something. Could be in serious trouble. This is what I was thinking. That's how I set up this game plan. So let's see what happens. Now, I was at this point, uh, so things are going fine. Of course, I'm just hoping that Archer Tower will lock onto the queen right now, but she didn't. But look at this. Right when she locked on, I dropped the baby dragon, and look how close it was. If the baby dragon had not taken down that elixir, she would have passed, I think, to the east. But look at that. The baby dragon is doing work, um, and no kind of air defenses or Archer Towers over there. So the baby dragon, this is my first time using it, finally. Took me a long time. Here comes the golem. The reason I dropped it now and not waited because I wanted uh, to be able to funnel and let the queen kind of path towards the center uh, when my Valkyries. If I waited longer on the golem, the Valkyries would, uh, the queen would have been alone. But uh, look at that, baby dragon just went down now. So wall breakers come in, uh, and then I brought two more wall breakers, but they went to that cannon instead. I actually lost that uh, a couple wizards there by that cannon. Not smart. Uh, the cannon took out uh, the um, Valk and a couple wizards, so not good at all. Here, though, perfect funnel to the core, not even dealing with the clan castle. Let me pause it down. So I, I saved the clan castle, and I didn't lure it because I didn't think it was needed. I thought about bringing um, a, a hog early on to lure the clan castle, but I was like, eh, it's just a waste of troops. I can't lure it easily enough. So just going to rely on the queen and some archers and things to take down those clan castles. And the Valkyries moved so fast, I was like, hey... Bad spell placement, by the way. The freeze. Oh, I just I thought the Valkyries were gonna path <laughs> right straight towards that um, uh, Inferno Tower, but they didn't. It actually could have really caused doom. But perfect heal placement. I was very patient. Look at this double giant bomb saved by the heal spell. Very key right there. So be patient on the heal. That's all I recommend. If you think if you see a double giant bomb about to go, that's when you drop the heal to save those Valkyries. So from here on out, of course, I lost my healers. I actually thought time was going to be an issue. If you notice in the early part of the raid, I brought two goblins. I knew the goblins. Why bring goblins? Because they do double hit points on those uh, um, gold storages, things like that. <laughs> Look at the golem stuck in the corner doing nothing. So I knew I had this attack, but time, you know, time with when they, since I cut out the extra 30 seconds, I was like, oh my goodness, I might run out of time. And I would have run out of time. One, if um, the if I hadn't brought those extra units at the early part of the raid. Um, I think, you know, I came down to like 15, 20 seconds. I have tons of Valkyries left, as you can tell, 
just ripped through this base because I funneled properly and had a strategy. But look at that, amazing, there's my three star. I, you know, I'm really proud of it because it's really hard to get that three star. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching, I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time, Halo out.